Hey guys, this is a continuation of my bento box series. If you don't see this video on a separate playlist, I'm probably going to put these on my snack, my snack taste testing videos playlist, and then I'm going to change the name to snack taste testing and also bentos. So if you don't see any playlist that I mention, and, or if you're new to my channel and you don't know where to find them, um, you can only, I believe Facebook has narrowed, no, YouTube has narrowed it down, not Facebook, YouTube, has narrowed it down to having five playlists only on your main page for your channel, and then the rest of your playlist, playlist will show up on the playlist section. So if you're ever confused and I mention a playlist, please go check out the playlist section just in case. I may not have it on my main page just because YouTube does not allow more than five and I have like more than five and I noticed like I was trying to get them on. I mentioned this in another video, but I, try I was trying to get them all on the main page, but apparently five is the maximum amount. So if you don't see any playlist that I mentioned, just go check out the playlist section. Don't worry about the main page. If it's confusing or you can't find one, it should be in the playlist section. Um, of course, I'm not gonna show how to make these, but I will be describing what I made and how I made it. Sorry, there's seaweed on my hand somewhere. Um, so this is a bunny bento box. Um, so, I made, I steamed some rice in the rice cooker and then I kind of put it in the, on the pan, but I didn't let it like fry, fry it. I just, um, I think it just kept the rice a bit warm. And then I poured like some soy sauce. It's a, it's a soy sauce that's made for soba, so it's less salty compared to um, regular soy sauce. If you really want seasoning, you gotta put like actual soy sauce. I actually am thinking about drizzling a little bit of actual soy sauce on it because I kind of tasted some of it and it was like, there wasn't that much flavor. So the soy sauce that I used was for soba noodles and it was like a soy sauce based soba noodle type of sauce. And so that's what the bunnies are made out of. And then the ears are the eggs. Um, I actually hear, this is what the egg looks, sorry, there's the ham. Okay, so the ears are the eggs. So I uh, basically, I put an egg in a bowl and then I put um, water in it with it as well. So that way the egg wouldn't be like too uh, dry and then I whisked it together and I poured it on the pan. I let it cook a little so it was flat and then afterwards I rolled it up. Um, this would have been easier to make if you have one of those giant Japanese, um, I mean those Japanese pans that are rectangle because that's where I got the technique from but Technically speaking, you should be using those pans, but I don't have one because we don't live in Japan or we don't live in... I don't know if Nations has one. I have to check it out. But basically, I rolled it up slowly as it was cooking and then I flipped it to each side to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked inside. Um, and then the ham. This is chicken. This is sliced chicken. It's kind of like chicken ham. And uh, it's pre-cooked already, but in the packaging, but I just put it on the pan so that way it had more of a cooked taste. Definitely if you want to go for healthier, maybe you don't have to put it on the pan. You could just eat it like that because um the way I did it, I put some oil, so it is a bit more um oily, but it depends on your preference. If you really want it to be super healthy, I would suggest don't put it on the pan like I did, but I just put it on the pan because I guess I like the taste, the oily taste, like the taste of the cookness. Um, 
Then I used, oh yeah, and I cut the egg up for here too. So I cut the ends off of the egg because they were pointy and I used it for the ears. And then I cut up the rest of the middle part and put it here. You can see that it's rolled over. For these, I used the same mold as I did for the pandas. If you didn't see the my first bento box, you can go check it out. Um, I think I'm going to put it in the playlist for taste testing, snack taste testing, and I'm going to change the name to like plus bentos. So if you guys want to see that, I will be putting them in the same playlist as which I put the food in. Um, I use the same one as the pandas. But I kind of, I use the eyes for the arms. I kind of just ripped the ends off and put them there because I didn't want it to go through the back. Um, for the feet, I actually used um, the, these are supposed to be on the panda ears, but instead I put them down here. And then the nose, I ripped off a tiny corner of seaweed. For the ears, I actually used what was supposed to be used for the feet for the panda. And then because they were pointy, I just did that. Um, and then the back, there's a little circle. There's a circle for the tail that I used for the tail of the bunnies as well. And yeah. And for the rest of the ham, I just put them on the side because I didn't want it to go to waste. Uh, I think for this meal I would heat it up because it's very, like, I think this would taste better heated up because there's egg and there's cooked ham and you kind of want to taste it that it's cooked. So definitely heating this one up will be nice. Um, that's it for this video. If you like, please like, and if you want, you can subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button next to the subscription button so you get notified for whenever I upload new videos. Um, also don't forget to check down below in the description box. Um, there will be my social media accounts and please go check that out. There's like a lot of social media there and if you want you can like and follow them so that way you get updates and pictures of everything that I do especially from my drawings and my progress work so hope you guys enjoy this video bye